March Madness is a special time of the year uh, for all offices across the country where we work really hard 99.5% uh, of the year and every now and then we get we should take a 0.5 right just to enjoy ourselves listen up it's a proven fact that during the opening two days of March Madness workforce productivity does this as an entrepreneur and a CEO how do you counter that I think the best way to counter it is by having a fun team activity where uh, chemistry can be fostered, positive chemistry uh, between the team as they compete to see you know, who can select the best bracket as they decide which NCAA basketball team, probably Wichita State, is going to win the NCAA title. And so I thought it would be a fun activity for our team. So I've uh, given the option to participate in this year's tournament challenge. And uh, sounds like so far everybody is saying yes, so I'm really excited about the type of chemistry this is gonna build between our team. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, hopefully um, it really builds a positive rapport that we're all seeking here in the office. We've got a great team, good energy, good chemistry. Uh, I really can't wait to see uh, how this plays out. It should be, should be a fun experiment. Since my tired us, I've just been so slammed. I've just been doing so much work. I feel like, honestly, most of it, uh, you know, I just don't have any free time anymore to, uh, uh, to you know, to like get get into sports. None at all. Just no clue what's going on. So. Yeah. something to share with you. As we've gone through this uh, March Madness activity, chemistry building thing with the team, I, I've realized one thing, I've boxed myself in a corner. Uh, you see, as the CEO and founder of these companies, I think if I'm going to continue to uh, portray an authoritative figure who knows his stuff, I, I can't fail to win the tournament picks, right? I mean, I, I should, I should, I should come out on top of this event. So I, I've given this a lot of thought, and I think it's time to expand our team. Uh, one member, um, the rest of the team doesn't know this yet, but I've, uh, I've brought on board another consultant for our company. Uh, short-term, short-term consultant who is going to uh, advise our company, advise me really, on how to make the right picks in my bracket. And uh, I think this consultant has a lot of basketball knowledge, years of experience. Um, I think if I can quietly work this person into the team and advise me, I think I've got a good shot at being number one. Uh, we'll see how it works out. Back to you. You can go now. Jason, did you use your bracket build out? Yeah, I did actually. Yeah, how are you feeling about it? Pretty good. Yeah, think you're gonna win? Oh yeah, no doubt. No no doubt, huh? Yeah, I built a whole AI model around it. Huh. Oh, you know who doesn't stand a chance? Mike. Yeah, Mike. <laughs> I, <don't laughs> I, I agree with you 100% there. Mike just does not stand a chance. He doesn't know much about basketball, does he? Yeah, he probably put all the 16 seeds as winning because he thinks that 16 is bigger than one, so therefore he should win that one. <laughs> you sure he knows like how the scoring system works? You know, touchdowns, uh, field goals, points? Yeah, he probably thinks it's like golf. <laughs> lower, lower is better. I, I don't know. Uh, Beer of the week. Really? 